At this point, we are learning more about why the second mass vaccination event at Arrowhead Stadium was canceled. KMBC 9's Emily Hallwig spoke with the J Jackson County Health Department to find out exactly what happened, and she's joining us now live at Arrowhead. Well, Kelly, the health department says there were a number of factors at play, but the main issue was that pause on the Johnson and Johnson vaccine. I spoke with the health department about whether another mass vaccination event could come here to Arrowhead and how their overall vaccination strategy is shifting. This was supposed to be the scene at the Truman Sports Complex next week. I think initially the state of Missouri had uh, set a goal to double. Uh, the size of the event. But on Wednesday, the state announced the second mass vaccination event at Arrowhead was canceled. The Department of Public Safety cited logistic and scheduling issues. But I think that temporary pause of the J&J &J vaccine was probably one of the biggest factors. Jackson County's assistant health director says they considered other vaccines. And I don't believe that Arrowhead was actually available to hold the subsequent follow-up doses that would be necessary with both Pfizer and Moderna. He's hopeful that Arrowhead hasn't seen its last mass vaccination event. We know that um, you know, these mass vaccination sites still have a place in uh, vaccine administration, given the fact that we only have about 35% of the population in Jackson County that has received a first dose. But he notes shifting the focus to smaller clinics may be more effective as demand at larger sites decreases. I think that's that's what this is really all about um, is, is access. It's bringing the vaccine uh, to people where there are absolutely no no potential barriers uh, to them, you know, receiving the vaccine. Right now, there are no solid plans for when another mass vaccination event could come back here to Arrowhead, but we'll keep you updated on any developments. Reporting live at Arrowhead, Emily Hallwick, KMBC 9 News. Now, there are several large ongoing vaccination clinics throughout Jackson County. We have a link to that information at KMBC.com. After an initial surge in coronavirus vaccinations, local health experts are concerned about vaccine hesitancy. At least half of all American adults have received at least one dose of a vaccine. But doctors with the University of Kansas Health System say that number needs to be much, much higher to reach herd immunity. A number of smaller Kansas counties are turning down vaccine doses, leading to even more concern. We have to get those conversations really going between primary care and those who are, are hesitant. And one of the best ways to do it is park the vaccine in the primary care clinic. So when people say yes, you vaccinate them right there. Doctors say a number of pilot programs are in the works to get vaccine to primary care doctors to help boost those vaccination numbers. The Kansas City, Missouri Health Department is extending its clinic hours and offering walk-in vaccinations. Every Tuesday and Thursday, KC residents can stop by the Health Department at 24th and Troost from 5 p.m. to 7.15 p.m. to get a COVID vaccination. Walk-ins are welcome, but appointments are still encouraged. The Health Department also has three other COVID vaccine clinics operating during the day. You can schedule an appointment at kcmo.gov slash coronavirus. In Douglas County, the Health Department is changing the way it handles vaccinations. After next Wednesday, the 28th, it will eliminate its drive through clinic at the Douglas County Fairgrounds. Instead, appointments will be offered at a drive through site at Lawrence Memorial Hospital. The Health Department says it's also planning other smaller clinics across Douglas County to improve access to the vaccine. The seven day rolling average of daily new cases in Missouri is now 535. We'll get the latest numbers from Kansas tomorrow. The Kansas positivity rate is at 2.9%. Missouri's seven day average positivity rate is at 4.9%.